I'm Ravali Kauri Shetty, a postdoctoral researcher from the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems. Today, I'm here to talk about our research on the design and evaluation of a new vibrotactile actuation approach, which we called as rotating motor actuator. For this, we attached the shaft of a small DC motor to a stylus, which is held by the user to perceive vibrotactile cues. We applied AC signal to the DC motor because of which it cannot make a complete cycle and thus vibrates around a starting angle. And we leveraged this phenomenon to develop vibrotactile actuator. We looked at the output response of the RMA by commanding input current signal that logarithmically sweeps from 10 Hz to 1000 Hz in 3 seconds. As we can see from the frequency response plot, this design has generated a wide bandwidth from about 20 Hz to 390 Hz. We then evaluated the RMA, a test actuator, by comparing it with a standard actuator. In here, we used Haptuator Mark II as a reference actuator. The goal of the participants was to match the vibration amplitude on the test actuator with those generated from the reference actuator. We totally had 72 trials, and at the end, participants answered questions based on their experience during these trials. The selected current values were normalized by dividing each RMA current to the corresponding reference actuator current and the average current required by the test actuator is about 10 times to that of the reference actuator. We also measured the circumferential acceleration caused by both the actuators and we see that these accelerations match closely well for all the frequencies up to 377 Hz but not for the two frequencies about that. This is because RMA output is limited by the maximum available current from the slider for these frequencies. The questionnaire responses shows that higher number of participants agreed that RMA vibrations were felt pleasant. After the psychophysical study, we then presented a sample interaction recording by displaying vibration signal accompanied by a video of a pair of scissors cutting a piece of cloth as we can see here. These vibration signals were played on both the actuators one after the other while also watching the video simultaneously. The participants then responded to the four questions related to the video demonstration. The commanded current gain on the two actuators were chosen approximately to match the outputs uh, to one another. The RMA acceleration's output closely resembles the input command, while the accelerations from the reference actuator do not match well. This significant difference could be because the reference actuator has a resonance around 80 Hz. From the question and responses, we observed that higher number of participants agreed that RMA delivered realistic vibrotactile cues and realistic audio cues during the replay. With this, we believe that RMA is a promising new way to generate realistic vibrotactile cues on a stylus, especially because it uses a low-cost DC motor instead of a special haptic actuator. With this, we would like to thank you all for your attention.